Today's video is from a private one-on-one -on -one Zoom lesson, and I'm going to show him how to make better transitions in FL Studio. You get me. How would you make a better drum break into that, bro? Into like that, that section, like this section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would do something like this. Honestly, I'd bring like this reverse over there, and I'd stop it right there on like the last snare, and then kind of cut everything here. You can create some sort of impact. Remember how we we were doing those like sweep effects? Right. You could put one down there too if you wanted to. Just like this one. What is this one anyway? Just like yeah, that's pretty, something like that. And then you know what I would do here too? I would switch the melody up here. Like I was what I was talking about earlier. Do something like half time it or pitch it down an octave. Add some sort of secondary melody on top of it. You know, you could do that. That way it kind of switches up the vibe. And now, you know what? Now that I have that, I would like reverse. I would, I would pull this, this halftime version, make it unique, and kind of like use it to fade in this section right here. Use it to bring this in. Like reverse it. Maybe even like throw it into its own mixer channel so that way we can EQ it differently. And it's gonna sound pretty crazy. And then you can kind of like fade it in. Fade it up. So that way you kind of, you hear it come in. You could even like, I'm going fast, but. <laughs> oh, you're good, bro. Crazy. So then I'll, I did like a quick uh, automation. Did you see how, you how I did that? One, I always struggle bringing down the middle like little one. Is it with your knob? This one right here? Yeah. Just just, you just click and drag it up or down. That's like the tension between the two points that you made. Every time you make a point, there's always a tension in between it that you can adjust. Make sense? Yeah. like a little bit of blank space right here that I'm trying to get rid of. I'll do generic bleeding so that way we have a smoother crossfade. Maybe overlap it just that tiny, tiny little bit. And you know what? I'll put like a different kind of fade on this actually, like a regular volume fade to kind of bring it up. That's way smoother, no? Right, yeah. And then you can kind of like have this coming from a distance can make it unique. So if we do anything else to this one, it doesn't affect the other ones. Kind of fade this one up. Have it coming from a distance like that. And yeah, I kind of like this, this like little EQ thing that I put on. So track number 13, I'll put that, I'll just put that in the same track as the other one because it has that like walkie talkie effect. And then you know what? Sometimes this fade in knob doesn't do it justice. So I like to just do it like an automation clip. It, you have a little bit more control over the tension knob. You know what I mean? Right. You can't get that tension. It just kind of is what it is if you do it inside the sampler. How'd that sound? That's fire, bro.